Following the shooting inside the home behind me, the four-year-old little boy was rushed to Riley Children's Hospital where he remains in critical condition. Friends and neighbors say they are absolutely devastated by the shooting. While wrestling with his son on a bed inside this home, Monroe County Sheriff's investigators believe a father had a handgun on the small of his back. During that playtime, detectives say the gun fell out and fired, shooting the four-year-old in the head. It's horrifying. It's heart-wrenching. I can't even imagine what they're going through. Kaylee lives right next door and considers her neighbors friends. Like everyone else on the street, she was stunned to learn what happened. I mean, I can't even imagine the position, the situation that they're in, and I can guarantee it was not whatsoever meant to happen, completely accident, and it's just, it's unfortunate. The Gun Violence Archive, a research group that tracks unintentional shootings across the country, found that Indiana has seen a lot of accidental shootings involving children. While no one with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office would comment on the case, over the years, police and gun rights advocates have repeatedly spoken about the importance of gun safety because they say accidental shootings can almost always be avoided. Every gun owner has to be a responsible gun owner. I mean, an accidental shooting involving a child has got to be the worst thing on earth, and it's more tragic because it's 100%.